from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we will build the OpenCV library on the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit. Let's get to work. If you work with OpenCV as a developer, there are times that you may want to build your own version of OpenCV from source. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there are some convenient scripts located in the build OpenCV TX2 repository, which will help you with that task. Let's take a look at the script. It's called buildopencv.sh. When the script first executes, it loads up some of the dependencies. This is not an exhaustive list of dependencies for all of the OpenCV options, but rather a starting point. The idea behind this script is that it's a framework for adding your own build configuration. This script builds for Python 2.7, so we include those dependencies. Next, we download the OpenCV sources, and then we check out the version. This particular script builds version 3.2. We also download the OpenCV extras for testing purposes. We switch over to the OpenCV source directory. We build out of tree, so we create a build directory and switch to it. And then we set the parameters for actually building OpenCV. CMake is used to build the make file. Here are the parameters that we pass to it. This is just a small sampling of the different settings that you can set. A couple of important ones to note. In this particular version, we are compiling with GPU support. So we add the CUDA toolkit directory here. And we are going to use the TX2. So we set the CUDA architecture to 6.2. If we were compiling for a TX1, the CUDA architecture is 5.3. And then after that, we make OpenCV. So let's clone this. Git clone. Switch to that repository directory. Before we start compiling, let's put all of the CPU cores online. We'll choose mode two. Let's open up our system monitor. We can see that all six of our CPUs are online. Let's build OpenCV. Okay, it looks like we're finished building. Let's go over a couple of things. First, it's been my experience that make lies. So when you go to make something, it may not have made it all. So let's clear this off. We will switch over to the build directory. And we'll try make again. See if we pick up any stragglers. Ah, oh, there's one. Make lies, it's a liar. It's a liar that lies. After that quick run through, I think we can feel better about the make. We're ready to install. As I mentioned before, I don't think that you want to share a OpenCV for Tegra installation with a regular OpenCV installation. People have done that. You might want to check in the forums, but in general, people just install one or the other. Installation complete. Let's close. 
clear this off. As we talked about earlier, OpenCV has a whole bunch of settings. Let's take a look at that. Usually I would run CC make here, but it's not installed. So here's a trick for finding it. And we can see that it's in CMake Curses GUI. So let's load that up. GUI, GUI, GUI. CC Make. And let's do that right here. So here's a listing of all the settings for OpenCV. You can see that there are many more than what we actually set. But this gives you a feeling for not only what you can set, but also the names of the particular settings. This is an interesting setting. You can enable the non-free modules here. This includes things like Surf that have copyrights on them. They're useful for image recognition, but they cost when you use them for commercial use. Thanks for watching.